video number three, we're back. Matt, what's gonna go on video number three? Video three is all about Roger Federer's backhand, and I'm gonna reveal to you why I think this year's backhand better than last year's backhand. I'm talking about the Aussie Open. Let's, Let's go. Get started. If you're enjoying these videos, Pete, do you think they enjoy the videos? They love the videos, If Matt. you love these videos, make sure you help us out by giving us a subscribe on the subscribe. And a Johnny Mac touch like. Just a little touch. Oh, I opened up. That would have not even gone over the net. A little. That's better. So today's video all about the Federer backhand, but really, Pete, it's more about court positioning and about where tennis is today with the, the rally patterns that we often see these guys get into. What do you think is different about Roger's backhand now compared to last year and his whole career? Well, I think Roger, like one of my favorite songs, Tom Petty's song is I Won't Back Down. Roger refer Never heard of it. refuses to back down nowadays. I think he had his breakout party last year against Rafa where he was hitting that backhand aggressively down the line. Yeah, that whole court. run last year. And breakout party on the taking it early. And now you think he's gotten even more comfortable with it. Well, yeah, I know it's a little controversial of me to say that because a lot of people are like, what? He was hitting the backhand better last year's Australian Open. I think he hit more highlight reel shots because I think, you know, the, the new idea of like, I'm really going to go for it. I think Roger's now like settled into what's long term even better. Not as many highlight shots, but he just, he knows what he needs to do with his feet, where he needs to make contact with that backhand. He's just always taking it so early. His average rally ball, it puts more pressure, takes more time away from opponents than it ever has in his career. Yeah. That's I, what I think the bottom I, line is. I agree. We're going to show you guys a drill a pattern that all the pros are doing. Once the serve goes in play and the return gets back and they're in this rally, they're jockeying for court position. They're getting the backhand, backhand battle. Yeah. And then they're looking to take offense on the forehand. We're gonna show a drill that everybody can do out there. But first, take a look at these fancy shirts. That's right. And we listen gotta, to Matt. Gotta give a big thank you to Health IQ. They're sponsoring this three-part series. If you've been watching the series, I'm sure you know that. So big thank you to Health IQ. You know, we couldn't do these videos without help from people like Health IQ. And the thing is, Health IQ can help you a lot just because you play tennis, they're already helping you, right? That's right. I'm an application. I'm going to call you this week. And just because I play tennis, Matt, I can get a better rate versus people who are not living an active lifestyle. That's right. They are the only life insurance agency, Health IQ, in the United States that can save you money because you play tennis. In fact, they could save you as much as 33% because you live a healthier lifestyle from playing tennis. Everyone else, they're going to give you the same rate as somebody who spends every moment on the couch. And that has sounds never played tennis in their good. life. That sounds real good. So let's play some tennis. We're gonna come back with a drill. That's right. HealthIQ.com forward slash crunch time. That way they know we sent you. Let's get into it. So a great drill you can do with your friends. Lots of people love to hit cross courts. They also think you have to get back to the middle all the time. Not so, you don't have to do that. What Matt and I are gonna do is we're going to rally cross court. Now as we're keeping the ball in this area of the court right here, we're gonna to have to get a little closer back to the middle, not all the way back. But if one of us is able to get an advantage and push our opponent out here in this area of the court, we're not gonna get all the way back to the middle. In fact, we're gonna be cheating on our forehand side, leaving about 80% of the court open for our forehand. This gives us an option now to go inside in or inside out. Let's watch how we do it. All right, so Matt's main goal we're rallying is to get the ball on this side of the hoop right here. If he can do that, he's going to cheat over and try and take the forehand, and now I'm gonna guess, is Matt gonna hit inside in on me or inside out?
That's it. <laughs> All right. Great job. All right, guys, that was a fun drill. Go out there and do that. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Great cardio. You get to do a lot of footwork because the footwork is so important to set up so that you can take that ball the other direction. Uh, Pete, what should we do the next part, three-part series on? Well, I think we should ask them. What should we do, guys? Should we do it on Rafa? Should we do it on the women? Maybe Halep or Wozy? Yeah, Wozniak. He was awesome in that tournament. Uh, or maybe not even a particular player. Maybe a movie review. Maybe a, a certain tennis technique is what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. Comment below. Let us know. And also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Health IQ. Go to healthiq.com forward slash crunch time. That way they know we sent you. See how much money they can save you because, hey, you're out there playing all this tennis. Right. You might as well get something might for it. Might as well it. get something for it. And guys, <laughs> if you want a movie review, I'll do that too. Absolutely. See you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. And we'll, we'll see you on the next video. Do you think they like the videos? They love these videos, man. If you love these videos, help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a nice little smash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I looked into the sun. Let's do a double smash. Okay. I got mine. I got mine. I like it. I like it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ready? All right, you smash. I'm my shoulder. What about sword. a double smash? Oh. All right, you're a good point. Double, double smash. smash, double touch. Got two balls? Yep. Oh my god. Put that in the blue for real. Okay. Ready? And we're back. And if you love these videos, if you're enjoying if they're enjoying learning tennis, maybe they could subscribe! Smash that subscribe button and give and it a little touch. Just a little touch on the thumbs up. I think we got it pretty good. You like that one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, yeah. Uh, Should we, we do one more or you like that one? One more. <laughs>